And right now, Montgomery County Police are giving an update telling us more about the moment a teen shot another student at Magruder High School last Friday. Yeah, that started just a short time ago and who you just saw left the podium there is uh, Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy. Let's listen in. Conference to discuss a very important uh, and serious incident that occurred in our school system. I first want to begin by saying, yes, we unfortunately have found ghost guns in our schools previously. What we have not had in Montgomery County Public Schools is a student shot within our school building, and that is very serious. And so as I begin, I start by saying that our thoughts and prayers remain with the student who is still in the hospital in very serious condition. I also want to say, extend those same thoughts and prayers to the family members who have been impacted by this incident. On Friday, Magruder High School experienced a horrific tragedy, which has impacted all of our MCPS community. This gun incident involving students at Magruder High School has weighted on our sense of security, not only at Magruder High School, but in every single school within the school system. And I know that because I met with the leaders today. And when they shared, this felt like it happened to all of us, I understood why. With that said, I also want to say with the weight that we're carrying, as Mr. McCarthy just mentioned, it is about the partnership of this community that will help us address the issues that are directly in front of us. We've got to talk about security, how it can be enhanced tomorrow, the days to come, and the weeks to come with the very serious issue that we are facing. Before I go further, I do want to say that collaboration is important, and I stand here thankful to the collaboration that exists within our county and with our county partners for their tremendous support on Friday and during this challenging situation. In particular, we are deeply appreciative to our Montgomery County Police Department, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Montgomery County Fire and Rescue, the State's Attorney's Office, the Department of Health and Human Services, among a host of others. When the school system called, everyone was there, and they were there promptly saying, what is my role and what can I do to help? And as you can see, our entire community is united with the students and staff and leadership of Magruder High School. I, I continue to say I'm deeply appreciative for the leadership of Magruder High School. Dr. Lee Evans truly is an amazing leader. And the way he led that school through a tragic situation on Friday is to be applauded. We are here today because safety and security have been and are always a part of our very first priority in Montgomery County Public Schools. Students must feel safe in order to learn. And that is a priority that we share with and across government and including with in partnership with our police department. In line with trends that we are seeing across the country, safety concerns have increased in our school buildings and in our communities since the start of the pandemic. I want to be very clear. It is not just a school problem, but a community-wide problem. Guns and weapons have become increasingly common in our community, and it's going to take an entire community to solve this. We must work to remove the threat of weapons because they threaten all of us and not just in our schools. We must do this so that we can all return to a shared level of security in all corners of our community. As the place where our children go every single day, we have a special obligation to protect our school communities. Our parents trust us with their children when they send them to our schools every single day. They expect that they're going to be protected, and they expect that they're going to be able to learn. Tuesday is the beginning of the second semester in Montgomery County, tomorrow. And all of our students are going to be returning to school. I want to talk about how that's going to look a little differently at Magruder High School, because it will not be a normal day for them, as well as many others. To support the students and staff in Magruder High School and in that community, Magruder's schedule is going to be adjusted to a half-day schedule with time that allows for all of our students to access the supports being provided on campus. 
On Friday evening, we provided a number of virtual support systems for our students to log into, but we also know there is nothing like that in-person in interaction. And so we look forward to providing that to the students and staff at Magruder High School tomorrow. Any student who may not feel comfortable yet, who are still dealing with the anxieties of what they may have witnessed or experienced on Friday, over the next couple of days, because of our concerns around safety and support for the community, any student who feels like that impact has been great and they cannot attend school, we are going to provide them with an excused absence. Also at Magruder High School tomorrow and throughout this week, there will be enhanced police presence, including the community engagement officer, Sergeant Jason Capetta, and other officers in the building, especially during high traffic times of arrival, lunch, and dismissal. We will also have a number of key people in the building over the next few days, and this will include counselors, psychologists, staff from Every Mind, which is a resource for immediate mental health support, and the Street Outreach Network, who have specialists in supporting high-risk youth. We're also going to focus on additional supports in all of our high schools. Again, this shock wave was felt by every single member of the Montgomery County community. As one of our first steps moving forward with all of our other high schools, we have been granted and talked with the county executive and we're going to have a police presence in all of our high schools over the next week. We have shared this value that if there is a police incident that occurs in a school, we deem it appropriate to have the, school, the police officers in that school. And so we are going to provide that support. We will also engage with county officials and community partners to reevaluate the role of our CEOs and their support on campuses and when and during certain circumstances. We've said from the very beginning, a program is only one part of this and that we would commit to evaluating our community engagement officer program. Now we have an incident that occurred that has never occurred in the history. And so it is, it is incumbent upon us to make sure we evaluate that incident and take lessons learned from that incident and determine how it will apply to adjustments that need to be made in our program. But that's only one part of it. In Montgomery County, we're also going to evaluate our practices and procedures given the circumstance of every, circumstances of everything that we've shared this evening. Students being isolated for a long period of time, trying to determine ways of how they can come back and interact uh, appropriately with their peers, conflict resolution, all after being separated for a long period of time. We've got to help them with that. And so we are also going to take into consideration how our practices that we have in place to make sure that just on a, a daily basis, what needs to look differently based on how students come into school and, and what interactions they have in which that will allow us to take into consideration the many lessons that we've learned from Friday. Yeah, that is uh, Montgomery County Public Schools Interim Superintendent Dr. Manifa McKnight there speaking about just this really heavy moment in Montgomery County right now after a shooting at Magruder High School on Friday that left a 15 year old student injured. That student is still in the hospital, had to undergo multiple surgeries uh, and is still listed in critical condition. According to police, that student was shot by a 17 year old, another student, Stephen Alston Jr., who is being held uh, without bond tonight. But, you know, the superintendent, the interim superintendent there, we heard from the state's attorney. We also heard from the police chief talking about just this, again, heavy moment and also talking about safety and how these uh, this school system is going to move past this. We're going to keep listening, listening into that press conference underway right now. And then coming up at six o'clock or Colby Satterfield, she's going to share more of that press conference and break down what we know now and what led up to that shooting.